Hey everyone, it's Pete from Abstract Ocean. Today we're going to fix a puncture, slow puncture in one of our tyres. Um, I've been driving Teslas now since 2013. Um, I can't tell you how many punctures I've got. I'm still convinced that they have some sort of magnetic field around them that attracts every nail and screw in the neighbourhood to, to my tyres. Um, so, uh, and the other problem is that discount tyre, also known as America's tyre, depending on which state you're in, um, at least here, they're refusing to repair Tesla tires because of the foam, the acoustic foam inside. Um, so it's time to do it myself because I don't want to wait three weeks for Tesla service and I don't want to find another tire shop. So I know there's going to be people in the comments saying, shouldn't plug your own tires. Um, but I've been doing this now for quite a while, never had a single issue. Um, and the, the gear I'm using is, is kind of, you know, a step above the the generic kits you get from, from Walmart. So I think that and the time I'm saving by doing it is worth it. So um, I'm just going to go over it. Some of the stuff we sell, but that's not the purpose of the video. It's just to show you the process. So um, I guess the first thing, tire inflator. Um, this is obviously a DeWalt one. It's bright yellow. It's got DeWalt written on it. Um, really, really useful. You don't have to get a DeWalt one. You can buy tire inflators um, off Amazon for you know 20, 30 bucks upwards. This one's great, uses the power pack from all the other DeWalt stuff, so it does a great job. We carry this in the car. Um, the important bit, I suppose, is the tire repair kit, which hopefully you can see that. Um, so this is the black chuck kit. This is a more expensive kit. Um, on Amazon, I think it's about 50 bucks. We'll, we'll link it down below. Um, there are cheaper ones. Um, mostly I got this because it's actually quite hard work to plug a tire. So you want something with um, good handle to, to grip and so on. Um, and this one just seems to work, work well. It got great reviews, so, and I've had no problem using it. All right, other stuff. So, um, lug nut remover. This is a nylon lined 21 mil um, hex nut, of course. Um, I just use this one because it stops, or it prevents any potential damage from, to the alloy wheel. Um, obviously, tire wrench for getting them off. Then a torque wrench for putting it on. Um, quick story about this. Uh, when I changed a tire a while ago, about three weeks later, I was getting a weird knocking from the car from one of the corners. And obviously it was the corner where I changed the wheel. Um, and when Tesla looked at it, it was because it was under torqued. So since then, I use a torque wrench just to make sure it's, it's on properly. It's kind of important, I suppose. Um, jack adapter. I'll show you this in a minute, but this is great for testers. You have to use these. These are in fact used by every discount tire, America's tire in the country. Um, and another major tire train that uh, I can't talk about just now, but they also use them too. And then finally, some lug, lug nut guides. Um, you'll see these in use. These just help getting the wheel off and on. Um, if you remove your wheels either for you know tire rotations or you're switching from summer to winter wheels, um, these are invaluable because otherwise wheels on a Tesla are heavy. Uh, and getting them on can be a bit of a pain. So we use these as well. And then of course the jack over here, this is a Costco special. I think it cost about, I don't know, 80 bucks, had it for a while, but um, does the job. All right, so we're gonna take the tire off, repair it, put it back on. Hope you enjoy. All right, here we are at the wheel. Um, I only know one way to remove a wheel. Um, it's probably the way my dad showed me, so hopefully I'm doing it right. But anyway, we're gonna pull the lug covers off real quick. This is a kit that we do sell, the lug covers in black and the center cap. So if you have a Model Y but you want to pop the aero covers off, this finishes the, the wheel nicely. And we're going to loosen off the bolts. Pretty sure you know how to do that, so I'll fast forward through this bit. All right, so here we are, we're gonna jack the car up. So I'm just at the back here. You can see the, um, the jack point there. So a quick thing about our jack adapters, I'm not gonna labor on it, but these are commercial quality. They're used in commercial settings every day on testers. Um, they have a magnetic top on them, which um, uh, comes out when you attach it to the car. So it makes jacking the car super easy. These are rock solid, has um, this layer here as well to protect uh, the bodywork around the, the jack point but it just makes jacking up the car just a, a no-brainer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and I'll show you real quickly. It just kind of sits in here. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. Like that. 
and then we're going to go ahead and shovel the Okay, we're just going to jack the car up. That'll do. You definitely don't want to jack the car up any further than it has to go. Why make work for yourself, especially when you're putting the wheel back on. Now we're going to remove the rest of the, the bolts. Okay, you can see uh, this is not a performance wire, so these are our caliper covers. These come in red, yellow, or white. Um, and these are like a one screw fitment. Very, very easy to fit. Just completely changes the look of the wheels. But we're not here for that. We are here for this little sucker. So I'm gonna go find something to dig this out, and then we'll get going on the repair. Okay, first thing we're gonna try to get this sucker out. This is a mini pry bar. Um, it's no exaggeration that I virtually built my entire house with this pry bar. I mean, it is an exaggeration, but just trust me when these things are just so, so useful for a gazillion silly things. So we'll see if that works first. Ooh, you don't want to come out, do you? All right. That one did not want to come out. There's a little critter. So now we have that out. take our, I don't know what you call it, I'm going to call it a brawl, um, and we're going to just put a little bit of lube on the end, as you do, find the hole, and just push this in. If the, um, if the nail or screw went in at an angle, try and replicate that angle as you open up the hole. I'm just going to You need to make some space for the um, bitumen plug. So for this bit, don't be shy. Really try and get it opened up so you're not fighting to get the, the plug in there. Okay, good enough. Doesn't matter if the air comes out, obviously. Now we're going to set this up. So, Here's my little bitumen strips. Gonna squeeze an end, push that through here. They're sticky, obviously. Okay, back to the tyre. Now what we're going to do is just push this into the, the hole in the tyre of course. We're going to stop leaving the ends exposed so you want this kind of more or less in the middle of the, the eye like that. Um, and then we're just going to push it in. So I'm going to take this back out. Get more air, it's fine. This can take a sorry, probably didn't hear what I said. This takes a bit of effort. So I'm gonna get to the top of this. Alright, I'm gonna stop about there and then just pull this out. Okay. 
and then just trim it with the little blade and that's all there is to it so now I'm going to put the wheel back on the car and then we'll get it inflated okay this is where the lug guides come in handy so I'm just going to put one on top don't have to be tight put another one on take your pick but I know we just do the one next door you don't have to have two one one is okay two just makes the alignment even easier get the tire move it into about the right spot and then all we're going to do is just hang it on those and then push it back nice and easy now we're going to put the bolts back on speed through this bit Give them a quick, quick tighten while the wheel is up. Then we're going to drop it slowly. Then get the torque wrench and tighten them to the right torque maybe you can see this on the camera but right now oh, maybe you can't okay uh, it's set to 129 foot pounds Right, all good. Put the bolt covers back on. Make it look pretty. Now we're just gonna fill it with air. These were our little valve covers back in the day. Can't sell these anymore. Tesla sent us a nasty gram all right so right about 20 needs to be 42 wind it up this is going to be noisy so we'll zip through this bit all right and there you have it so that's how you repair your own tires on a Tessa. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.